Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And for today's video, like the title suggests, we are redoing Percy's enclosure. So Percy is my Cuban Knight and all, and we're gonna take him bioactive. So this is my third attempt at a bioactive enclosure. Now I am by no means a bioactive expert. Um, only one of my enclosures so far is actually like legitimately bioactive, like with all the layers. Um, and that's my crusty gecko. My chameleon doesn't have all the fancy layers, like a drainage layer, false bottom, whatever. Doesn't have any of that. However, the mix I used is one that a guy recommended to me on Facebook that does all his bioactives like that and has had them running for he said like three years. Great. So I followed his instructions so I guess it's kind of bioactive. We'll see what happens. So we're gonna go that same route for Percy here. We're gonna do the same thing I did for Eugene. This video might come out before Eugene's. I really don't know what order these videos are coming out in. I really don't. I'm just recording them all. So I'm just gonna repeat the information. I am by no means a bioactive expert. For those of you that are, and if you're watching this, you may be thinking, what the heck is this girl doing? Like, this isn't bioactive, this is all wrong. Listen, I know, I know, it's fine, it's okay. My main goal, pretty much, is just to have lots of plants and something to catch water. Especially for Percy, because he has a water fountain that's not plugged in right now because I don't have anything to catch water when it leaks out. And it's one thing to clean it off of wood floor. It's another thing for it to get all of our carpet, which will soak it up. It'll just be a hot mess. So he hasn't had his fountain since I moved home. So I'm hoping once it's set up, I can put his fountain right inside and we'll be good to go. So I'm really Percy in here. I do handle him, but it's kind of some work to get him out. And I don't want to stress him out, especially since he's shedding right now. His head is shedding and yeah, so we're just gonna leave him alone as much as possible and just work around him or attempt to. Okay, so what we're using here is a bag from the Bio Dude. If you guys watched my What My Animals Got For Christmas video, Eugene and Percy both got these. Obviously, Percy's is smaller than Eugene's. So this one is meant for this size of Dr. Bree's cage. And it took one bag of organic topsoil. Um, I also have play sand in and coconut husk. And I'll be adding moss and leaf litter, etc., etc. So now that we've got that in, the dirt's all mixed up his um, fountain is in. I'm gonna go ahead and add the plants. She's gonna leave from the fountain. The one problem um, that I have with the fountain is when the leaves get in it, water drip follows the leaves, and then would leak everywhere. So it's not as much of a problem here, but I really don't want this oversaturated. So I do have to kind of periodically check and make sure that there aren't leaves hanging in the fountain. But right now it looks good. I'll talk plants like this, you can see. So I've got his pachos down here. This cute little thing is a polka dot plant. Really cute, little pop of color. Got a nice bromeliad back here. Um, I forget what this plant is, but it was already in his enclosure. Um, the Dracinia back there, and then of course his pothos, which I wrapped around his branches. And then we gotta stick in this wood piece that I took out. So I'll probably make it go right to the middle somehow up there.
So let's put in moss. And I'm going to put in some leaf litter. And my springtails come from Josh's frogs. I have a horrible time keeping springtails alive. But I've had these for months and they're still doing really, really well. So I highly recommend getting your springtails from Josh's frogs and getting their springtail food. I have had no problems keeping them alive. It is amazing. And we've got a pretty good amount of orange isopods going. So we're gonna use some of those. You see them all running around. There's some oranges and blues. So I'm just going to take a handful of this dirt and just plop it in there. If you're looking for good beginner isopods, I recommend oranges and blues because they're really hard to kill. All my other colonies have kind of taken a hit from the move. Um, but my orange and blues are still going strong. Maybe not with lots of dolls, but there's a lot of babies. Alright, so now we're going to fill up his water fountain and plug it in. Boy, gotten so big. All right, so I think we are finally done. I really like how this turned out. I'm pretty pretty happy with it, quite honestly. So don't forget if you want to see more of my animals and more enclosure upgrades then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and as always thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video